All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to wire the steering wheel and get all eight buttons working in, so you can use those for the stereo. So, as the other uh, guides show, you chop the old plug from the old steering wheel and you hook that up. Black goes to the base of the steering wheel. The other black stays right here and gets connected to the base once again. <clears throat> red goes to red. What is that? Gray goes to... Heck if I know what that is. Looks like a dark gray or brown. Yeah, that gray goes to brown. And white goes to gray. Now, that gets your your uh, um, your cruise control working, and you also get gotta get the last one, which is green, which is your base, goes to a combination of stuff, which you'll see in just a second. To get your your uh, buttons working, you gotta get the two blacks in here with the blue and the green hooked up to the green over here on the old plug. That's your ground for the whole set of buttons and the other buttons over here and the light. And on the other side, you do you get that your WPT 440 connector or S1891 or whatever. There's a few other numbers, and <clears throat> you just chop one of the wires that you leave. Everything else you cut. And the way you hook it up is purple goes to the black. You also get a 100 kilo ohm resistor, which you hook up to the yellow. So the, the bars on that are brown, black, red, and the uh, other last one, which is gold. Which tells me that that is, once again, just to double check, one, uh, zero, yeah, 100 kilo ohms. So let's do a quick demo to show all the values that you get. This is slightly a adjusts the uh, the stock um, resistance because you put the resistor in the so we're gonna hook this up and hook up the wires to the ground so let's see if we can get <coughs> here's neck volume let's see once again yeah. almost there you go that's a good okay so stock, it just stays at 720 uh, ohms. So minus volume down, it's 52. Volume up, it's 114. Previous is 289. Next is 192. <clears throat> your source or your musical note is your, is 400 and... Oops, lost the contact right there. So I'm gonna, once again, your music note is 409, your OK button is 602, your hang up button is 636, and your voice button is 5, right? 535. So that over, this removes all the overlap that you normally have by these three buttons over here overlapping with some of these buttons over there so that's how you get the wiring done this goes in the clock spring in the bottom the other one goes in the top of the clock spring and then you get another one of these connectors that you wire into the base of the clock spring over here <clears throat> you take that to your um, I use the SWIRC interface which all you need to do is just connect the white wire to your or both of the white wires to the output of the connector the, the red one goes to the power and black goes to ground and that's all you need to do no modification on the uh, no other modification on the wiring for the um, SWI interface so that's how you get it done <clears throat>